Okay, hi guys, this is Kevin, the uh, air, air combo control specialist. Um, we're gonna discuss the concept of uh, whether is it better to slowly raise the temperature of the room uh, after you turn off the aircon by keeping the doors and windows shut uh, in an attempt to uh, prevent mold growth within an aircon. So uh, this concept is uh, known as uh, climatization. So um, in short, um, it, it doesn't work. And uh, in fact, it is counterproductive. So uh, I'm gonna go in depth on uh, why is it so. So the concept of climatization uh, happens uh, as, uh, as a result of, take for instance, if you have uh, a big, uh, glass mirror in your room so after you run the aircon overnight the the mirror actually becomes uh, cold to the room temperature that you have set your air conditioning to so in the morning if you immediately open the doors and windows the hot moist air comes in and the mirror begins to fall so but if you don't open your windows and doors and you allow the temperature to slowly raise to ambient temperature, you find that uh, this uh, fogging uh, no longer occurs. So the same is true when you wear glasses and you're in a car, cabin, train or, M or taxi and you step out and your glass begins to fog. So, uh, okay, that concept is uh, applicable for surfaces. <laughs> but uh, for aircon, it's different. The reason is because the aircon is packed with this liquefied gas that's ready to uh, flash and evaporate. So it is uh, so-called constantly um, uh, having this heat exchange property. And once you turn off the aircon, the liquid gas within the fan coil may take uh, hours to fully vaporize. And in the process of this uh, gas uh, flashing or vaporizing, um, the temperature of the coil is uh, between 3 to 5 degrees Celsius. In fact, it's very cold. So, um, that will cause the internal parts of the aircon to be very cold um, and begins to condense. Be it, when, be it you open the window or you don't open the window because when we are dealing with 3 to 5 degrees Celsius, uh, any humidity that is uh, higher than probably uh, three to four percent relative humidity will begin to see uh, condensation and loss of condensation so in Singapore when you are dealing with humidity level about 80 percent and uh, in an echo environment it could have uh, brought it down to about 40 percent 50 percent humidity uh, it's not going to make a lot of difference it is still going to condense like crazy um, uh, but there is huge advantage on the contrary, there is huge advantage for you to immediately open the window. Why is it so? Because in a space where you sleep uh, and you breathe, every exhale um, has organic compound in it. There's like more than 3,000 different kinds of organic compound. So when these organic compounds keep cycling through the system, after a very prolonged period of time, uh, it will have enough organic stuff to attract the bacteria more to show up to break them down and it always shows up in aircon because aircon is always wet so if you are trying to control the moisture there is another method but not by climatization so uh, but the most important and most effective is to control the organic stuff you don't have the organic stuff uh, there's no reason for the bacteria most to show up Bacteria mold shows up to break down organic stuff. This explains why your leather shoe gets moldy, not your plastic bag. When do you see plast a wet plastic bag getting moldy? Unless the plastic bag is dirty with contaminated with organic stuff. So aircon which is aluminum plastic, how does it become moldy in the first place? Because it has a layer of organic stuff in the on the surface. So we have better success in uh, controlling the amount of organic stuff in the air so if you burn center oil you use perfume or your house has got cooking activities inevitably there's more starch protein oil in the air so why is it that when you open up the window early in the morning while your room is still cold works to your advantage is that 
when your room is cold and the ambient temperature is different there's a huge temperature difference when you open the window the air will move the cold air will gush out so as it gush out it carries with it the organic stuff but if you allow your your room temperature to slowly climb up to ambient temperature then you open the window the wind doesn't really cross very well unless you are blessed with a very windy property and the natural wind uh, helps to blows and carry away all this stuff so uh, so open your window immediately and subsequently if possible you switch your aircon to a fan mode and by running that fan it helps to expedite the uh, the liquid gas uh, evaporation within the copper pipe in about half a minute the liquid pipe gas should be fully vaporized without the fan running it may take hours and uh, after you get rid of the liquefied gas and expedizing the uh, gas flashing operation uh, you want to dry up the uh, the internal parts because the fan coil is now super cold and wet the drum, the air blower behind the aircon they are all wet so if you run the fan for about 2 hours roughly about 2 hours uh, you may have a chance of drying up depends on how dry the environment is so uh, some aircon manufacturers understand this uh, concept and have integrated it into the uh, aircon design for example certain model of uh, Daikin they have this more proof function you can check it out you slide down the uh, remote control you see if there's a button called more proof you press it for like more than five seconds it, it activates you will see a logo that looks like alpha and um, every time you turn off the aircon automatically the fan will run for about two hours uh, and that is an attempt to reduce moisture in the system so I hope this information clarifies and is useful to you thanks for watching this video